podcast formats are important when you are setting out. I'm finding it more and more interesting as I watch podcasts. I'm paying attention to how they're formatted, um, the ones that I enjoy the most, the ones I'm eager to go listen to. And um, also, as I am reporting podcasts, and um, also being a guest on podcasts. So one of the podcasts that I'm just, I actually paused, I'm sitting outside and enjoying the sun. Um, And um, hopefully the wind that's blowing isn't getting into my ear pods so you can hear me all right, is um, the one that I'm listening to and I pause, it is definitely the, Um, there's a host who's asking questions of a special guest. Now, there are people that will be in the news, and they are a special guest, meaning it isn't a panel. It's not a lot of people talking. It's certainly not the the host or the one um, sharing all about themselves. There's a place for that, and I think, personally, I believe those to be where it's just a single person talking and what I recorded just prior to this. I, this is my third podcast today. Um, The first was as a guest, um, even though I was invited somewhat as a special guest or just a guest, but it was more of a panel. Everybody was talking. It was difficult for me having so much to say. I've always been like that Um, to have somebody um, and to have everybody kind of, chime in and talking and so um, those have their place and if I'm invited to one you know then I know that I only can take up a little bit of time and with the outlet of um, being able to record my own um, maybe I would you know be able to sit still better but I've never been good at it Um, I was uniquely and wonderfully and beautifully made and so um, but um, my schools couldn't handle me, and so um, thus I was put outside of the classroom and kind of set apart, and so uh, that all instilled in me more of wanting to share, and thankfully, after all these years, decades of ministry, 33 years and counting, and um, having been with my Uh, forever best friend um, for um, more than 60 decades, Um, I've got a lot to share. And um, I'm eager, especially if there are people who are listening, because I just want to give them what I was given over the years. So that's my main reason for wanting to share. So getting back to the type of podcast is um, if there is someone, um, if you want to interview an author or someone who has gone through something, um, somebody that's like a special guest, only have that special guest. And then if you've got a lot to say and you want to share about your situation or how you came to do that, you can actually record that ahead of time. You can do it, at, you know, and have kind of an introduction and then say, and now you can listen to it. Um, Some people who are busy, they just came to listen to that special guest, um, having a way to jump to that. You know, there's a way that we teach an RMIOU where you can have these markers and go to that so they can fast forward to that. um, That topic is good. But they are not ones that really share their personal situation or who they are. Their whole thing is to draw out and just let that other person talk and keep the things going. They need to listen, um, maybe jot down notes if the topic comes up or something is just kind of briefly talked upon. Um, I'll say God bless you to the older man who just sneezed. Um, But um, that is one one of the types of podcasts. Also, because I'm in a very informal situation, and after we, I was on the kind of the panel or fellowship where there were three of us talking. Um, after we stopped recording, we began really chatting as friends, and it was 
much less formal. I really, and we all agreed, that's the type that we like. You're not sitting there teaching or lecturing or ministering in a formal way. You're just discussing it as if you're a bunch of friends getting together. Um, and even now, I could have still been, um, you know, back in my um, my suite or my room, my living room, and where it was very quiet um, and um, talking then. But I I think we all enjoy the more informal, um, where it feels like I'm just sitting here and you're out at the pool with me. You can hear the water, the fountains in the back. Um, and, um, and I'm just talking to you and just sharing thoughts with you and things that I've experienced. But as I said, I am just now learning more and more about podcasts. I have been um, on radio programs. And again, I was only on radio programs, never as a, um, as uh, like a panel or some of the, you know, they have the five this or the, you know, that sort of thing. I was never on anything like that or that would be, and a lot of times that gets into debates, I'm not big on that, but um, I was I was definitely in an, um, a hostile environment because when I was on the radio, I was asked as a special guest um, to, um, and on the pro-life side, and um, the odds were stacked against me, you know, and being cut off or having um, unkind things stated and trying to catch you on things, but um, nevertheless, I had a lot of experience in that as well. So um, I hope that understanding this one is the single listening, asking questions. If you want to tell about other things um, about yourself, have another one to introduce, but let the others talk. That's why I would never be good at hosting a podcast. I couldn't do it. I would not be any good. I'm just going to tell you, I would want to to do a lot of the talking and that's not the place of the host. It's to listen, to ask questions, to keep things moving, keep things positive, um, to be able to end it well. Um, I'm not good at that either. So um, that's my first little, this is my podcast on podcast. And when I have more to share, I'll come back and I'll share it. Thank you for listening.